time for another art lesson. Today we're going to make potato print butterflies. I did this with a potato. What you're going to need is you're going to need a potato, a little one. I bought white potatoes for um, any grown up who's helping your raccoon do their project. They're very cheap. You're going to need um, washable poster paints. Crayola is a really good one. You can find them at the supermarket, um, CVS, Staples. And whatever kind of construction paper you want to print your butterfly on. I use pink because I like pink. You can use white or whatever color you like. Now, if you want to make your potato printer fancy, which is what I did, you're going to cut your potato in half. You see? And on one side, you're going to mark a etch a V with a knife, of course. And that's something that um, grown-ups are going to do for you. This is just getting your potato printer ready. And on the other side, you're going to just chop off a straight edge. So it looks like this on one side and that on the other. Do the same with the other half. Straight edge on one side, and a V, and then from the V to the straight edge, you're going to just make a little line. You can even do it with your fingernail or the tip of your knife, not too deep. Don't forget to do the other side. From the V to the opposite end of the straight edge. So you have two pieces that look like this. Straight edge on one side, V etched on the other. And I took yellow, purple, and red, and I just poured a little on a paper plate. Now we're going to go do our print. This is the fun part, the messy part. <clears throat> Take the one half of the potato and dip it and press sort of gently, wiggle it around just a little. Stamp it a little bit onto the paper or the paper plate. You don't want too much paint. Then you're going to Put it on the paper and press down. Don't wiggle it, just press down. Take the other one, okay? And then they're gonna be facing each other, you see? How I did one here, the other one is going to come here. But we're not gonna let them touch each other. If they do, it's not a big deal. But I'll explain why in a minute. So, just so you don't forget, leave that there for sight. Dip your potato, wiggle it around a little bit. Now you're going to put it right next to the other one. The straight edges are facing each other. And don't make them touch each other. Leave a little bit of space. Press down. You can do this all the way around your paper. I like to do it together, but sometimes it's hard to remember not to let them touch, so one at a time is okay. The V has to be facing out, the straight edge facing in, and press. We don't want the potatoes touching each other when we do the, the printing because that's where we're going to draw the body. And I forgot to tell you, we need a magic marker too. 
I used purple. I chose purple. You can choose any color you like, black, red, whatever color you like, but I chose purple. So purple magic marker also. Now we're gonna draw the body. And see this space right here? Remember, I said try not to let them touch each other? That's where you're gonna draw the body. So fill that in. Round it at the end here. And on the opposite side, you're gonna make a nice round head. Okay, now for the antennae. See? You can do all of your butterflies. Draw them, body, fill in that gap there that I told you. body, a head, and antenna. Okay. Don't forget to wash your hands afterwards, raccoons, all right? Okay, raccoons. Happy spring. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.